Hi, this is Orion Field, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Orion. Today we're going to make bison sliders with cheddar cheese. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start caramelizing the onions. As you can see, we have them pre-chopped, ready to go. I'm going to add a little olive oil to the pan, and we're going to get that started right away. Just a little splash is perfect for this. Let that heat up a little bit. Cover the pan. Even though it's a nonstick pan, I still like using olive oil anyway because it's old and it's not really nonstick anymore. Uh, and then we're going to grab our onions, throw them in. We're going to keep cooking them until they get transparent and nice and soft and ready to go on top of our sliders. Just moving the uh, onions around making sure all of them get covered in oil so they don't stick to the sides of the pan. Smells great. Now that this skillet's heating up, it's about time that we start putting on some of the uh, burgers. As you can see, we made them small. We have our whole wheat slider buns here. And we'll get these started. Now we have those on, we're going to wait till they start browning up a little bit and then flip them. Bison doesn't take anywhere nearly as long to cook as beef because it's much leaner. And that's the other reason why we put cheese inside the meat, is so that they stay juicy while they're cooking. Now that these are uh, browning up nicely, it's time to flip them again. I already flipped them once before off camera, but like I said, they're cooking really nicely. Probably about another minute or so and they should be ready. We've had them um, on here now for about three minutes. As you can see, this first batch is done. We're ready to put our second batch on. They cook very quickly. And as you can see also, our onions are cooking up really well. I put a little red wine in there, so that should be good. Um, a little Shiraz, give it a little extra flavor. Um, but Pinot Noir works great, so does Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, whatever you like. Or white wine too, and Rosé Champagne is also a personal favorite of mine to use in onions. Now that these uh, second batch are almost done, we're going to put some, ch some cheddar cheese on them and let it melt nice and tasty. Just be careful when you're putting it on because the oil is spitting up a lot and burning my hand, but I'm used to it. 